Last fall, I had the pleasure of teaching Care and Conservation of Contemporary Art, a course designed to introduce undergraduates to the ethics and complex issues surrounding the preservation of work, sometimes designed to be temporary, ephemeral, or short-lived. The course was part of a 360 course cluster, Biennials in Conservation. Carrie Robbins taught the other course in the cluster, Contemporary Art in Exhibition, Museums, and Beyond. The students in this 360 engaged in a deeper history of contemporary art, one that considered the ways in which an artwork's exhibition and its care structured its meaning in complex ways. Carrie and I thought that the video documentation of a temporary, ephemeral art exhibition Fireflies by Sai Kuo Cheng and documentation of one week in the life of the 360 course cluster would be a wonderful way to both develop the digital competencies of the students as well as to have them think critically about how to document the impermanent. We hired Pat Ganley, a videographer with PWP Video, to teach the students production and post-production skills necessary to shoot and create their videos using Adobe Premiere Pro. The students worked in pairs creating both of the videos assigned while learning and developing both their collaborative communication skills and audiovisual analysis and production. I'd like to share several videos with you now and let the students work speak for itself. First is a video by Rebecca Hickey and Emily Dombrovskaya documenting the fireflies exhibit. <coughs> the sound is not on. The sound is not playing. <laughs> The sound is not playing. Yeah, it's playing for the microphone. Okay. All right. Sorry. It's too quiet. It's just here. It's not going through the speakers. Got it? Yep. I think what's really cool about fireflies is that, you know, you expect a lot of local people, and I didn't really expect to meet a lot of non-locals, and so I've met people from Texas people from Chicago came specifically here to see fireflies and then there was somebody from Chile from Saudi Arabia My favorite lantern, and it's not because it's like the best, but it's because it was the first lantern I got to hold. But it's a baby chick. And the next video I'm going to show you is by Maeve White and Olivia Porte, and it's documenting one week in the course cluster. On October 6, 2017, our 360 visited Philadelphia's Iroquois Park to chat with members of the Philadelphia Association for Public Art and ask, with such a public interface, how do we conserve art's materiality and meaning? The assistant director, Laura S. Griffith, oversees the association's conservation project. While they don't have an in-house conservator, there is a community of conservators that are consulted to preserve pieces at varying degrees. For example, Mark de Suvaro's Iroquois, a 40-foot painted sculpture, has been retouched 
touched and cleaned since its placement in the park. One of these conservators is Elisa Vignello. Elisa focused on the work she has done to Roxy Payne's Symbiosis 2011. Elisa has done a lot of cleaning to the 37-foot-tall steel tree to remove handprints, bike scratches, and bird droppings. She has also done preventative damage to weak points within the tree's break with the occasional removal of a bird's nest. We also met the Media and Communications Manager, Caitlin Martin. Caitlin works on public outreach and digital archiving. The Assistant Curator and Project Manager, Susan Myers, led us through a discussion of site specificity with the example of Sai Hua Chang's Fireflies, a performance that took place early this fall to celebrate the parkway's centennial. Sai brought a fleet of pedicabs adorned with colorful lanterns to the parkway to take participants around to admire its landscape while experiencing some of his favorite and enchanting childhood memories. This was especially on our minds since earlier that day we worked on editing our videos documenting size fireflies with documentarian Pat Gamley. Special, Special thanks, thanks to... <laughs> well, we almost have time for a third video, but we don't. But if you want, are interested in seeing any of the others that the students made, you can um, just get in touch with me, and thank you very much. <laughs>